Hello guys, Rodrigo Banzato here and this lesson for me is very important I think everyone should see uh, this lesson because the way I constructed uh, the materials and the textures sometimes you have the options to use multiple textures let me show you an example uh, let's go here in the ground and you see some few uh, materials here uh, and here you have uh, all the, the, the textures okay in 4000 uh, pixels I, I just use these uh, textures in special cases when I need a very close hander or I'm making a, a very important steel and I have a, a great machine to work so I use the 40,000 pixels in most cases 2048 uh, it's okay uh, you can use with any problem and here you have uh, some options and when you see this for example grass 6 let me hold the control grass 6 B and grass 6 C let's see uh, what these textures have in common right mouse button preview so an um, arrow right arrow as you can see grass 6 B grass 6 C what uh, these textures have in common the borders these textures are tileable so I don't need to worry I, I can use this for example in the middle of the grass or, or this uh, and, and that's what I will do now but first let's create the material let's see how we can organize it uh, our pipeline and make good things here so here in materials you have uh, the three options uh, of course this technique you can use it in any uh, of these handers and uh, we'll see multiple materials later in another lesson but this for first time we'll see here, uh, I will choose the Manta Ray because Manta Ray is the fall in 3ds Max uh, V-Ray is a plugin, in Ray you need to download the V-Ray materials let me click here and let's suppose that we we don't have this graphics, we don't have the materials and we don't have this preview so we need to choose one of these materials let's see this for example here uh, it's a preview of the floor 2 MR, Manta Ray and it's 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 nice we don't have uh, too much reflection and we don't have too much specular so i think this can work pretty good in a grass in a grass material so i use the the floor to mr let's drop this into 3ds max okay here it is and the first thing i need to do press m and now you can change this texture these four textures are from this material okay so I don't need to go here click here change here find it's out there so I will click here click here let's take the grass 6 and grass 6 okay grass 6 here let me open by the way uh, one fast uh, thing to do is click here, select this and, and give a control C. Okay, open. And now uh, this is the specular. Click here, control V. So uh, look, it's good to select. Uh, the specular will be the same. So it will be grass 6. Okay, open. Here it's the normal. Click here, control V. Grass 6 normal. Okay. So you don't have to keep selecting and finding this Ctrl V, Grass 6 Disp, right? Let me open and let's make the hander and see how this is. Um, by the way, let me cancel this because I need to show you something important. It's something about this foot, okay? Why I have this foot? Because the way I constructed my materials, they are all in the, um, in the good size. So if you are working in a new file, you want to be sure that when you apply that the that texture, that material, it will be in the right size. For example, it will not be like this, for example. 0.2. Look, I, I'm making a garden and when you apply the material, boom, you have this situation. This is horrible here we are very organized so i think one and one let me see yes one and one it's the right size for a foot think a man f with a foot here 
look the grass is in the right size so what we will do now we will do the hinder let's wait uh, a little let's see okay um, by the way I think I, I must change one thing here let me see I will see in the hinder yes this is not too we don't have too much definition and I know why here in the displacement because we are working with another texture I, I, I did a little blur here and um, to, to to make the older texture a lot better so make sure you have zero here okay you just use this blur of set 0, 0, 0, 005 or something in special cases when you want to blur a little bit the displacement okay so you don't need to go in the, the Photoshop and make the blur there no you can make it here but in this case make sure you have zero the other ones are zero because the default is zero okay guys let's see uh, I think we will see a better grass now uh, I even I even uh, didn't uh, change the, the displacement value I think it's 0 0.8 and for the grass you can play a little bit you can raise it to one maybe two and will be very very good too let's see yeah we have a more definition here I can see okay very nice let's wait a little so let's say for example oh it's fine I have this save it but uh, do not save uh, uh, do not forget to change the names okay so you click here and you write it it's floor 2 no it's uh, the grass 6 the material is floor 2 no it's the grass 6 enter this is very important guys and now you you save the the 3ds max scene that's very important uh, I, I know I, I could use the, the material library but I'm, I'm showing you a way to 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 make a, a good uh, size texture let me save this save as grass 6 mr mr you can save it and and now let's see if you want to save this preview you just need to copy and look at how it is new in photoshop okay edit paste and now you can save this save for web 75 save and save here uh, for example if you are making this grass B grass C uh, with another texture uh, of you uh, let's see here let me close this don't need this and it's okay I save everything and let's suppose we are making a new one a new file let me give a reset material here utilities reset materials lots I, I delete it the the that plane in top view press F3 I will delete these two we delete the foot too and let's make a plane let's uh, suppose this is a new file here is our plane and let me give you a few more segments press C okay let me make a band here in X okay more or less here and in and another band in here 90 to here okay just to make this soft uh, um, f front all right oh i think it's in x um well let me see here oh okay here is okay here the band it's in X all right let me put this a little bit here more or less here it's fine and create a new plane here let's uh, make a, a plane here a white plane to be as our background let's rotate this 90 let me have this closer let me see in the camera okay I will make a box here too in the top view I can create let me have it one meter alright 
control C. Let me let this a little far. Let me rotate this a little. Okay. And here this plane I will let this plane in more or less here. Okay, I think this is fine. It is this box will be white too. And let's suppose here we ha we will have our big grass, okay? Uh, let me do a render just to see the light, just to see if everything is okay. All right, we can start now. So um, let's let's start. We'll bring with the import merge the material mental ray and the grass six material that we saved before. I could bring the floor and change the text, but this is uh, alright done. So it's much faster and easy. I will click open. What I will bring here? The grass six. Yeah. Boom, it's here. Let me rotate this 90. Of course I can rotate in the in this camera. Press C and go to camera. Look 90. Let me turn off the band. And in the top view, what I need to do now, press M, is to take, click here, take this material, oh, the material is here, and drop this material in this new selection. Okay, this is very easy, uh, but the size is not correct, and that's why we saved our uh, 3ds Max file. Why? Because we will pick this UVW and drop it here. Okay, it's perfect. I don't need any more displaying it. By the way, I I need I need because um, let me let this more or less here because we need to make more segments. If this uh, is a editable poly, I should make more con connections because I want the same displacement. Okay, uh, this could work, but I prefer to make more segments like this and here 60 let's see how many here more or less 46 okay 51 and 60 if you want to see the size by the way if I, I can leave this with 7 and 7 and it's okay see let's let me see here and 50 50 in this case it's very similar right you don't need to perfect fit this this is just an example and you can delete this and move this uh, anyway you ha we have a bigger grass here as you can see if you want to change the band a little Okay. Nice, nice. Press C, and we can already handle our scene. Let's see. Um, by the way, uh, let's make a, a final handle very soon. We work with the multiple textures now, and uh, how we can make this? Just drop here. I know why we have the B and the C, and here in the B. It's very easy. We need to change the the names. We click here, here, and just put here a B. Enter. Okay. Look, it's changing. We need the gloss. Change the glossness. Go here. You could uh, also put uh, Control C, Control V, like I showed you before, but I prefer to write the letter B. I will change the normal too, but you we will not use the normal. It's just to, to keep uh, things very organized, just for that. And here, 6B, open. And here in the situation, I will use the C letter. C, open, go back, glossiness, click, C, open, and go here, the normal. Grass 6, C open, and here in the displacement, grass 6C open. 
okay I didn't rename these materials let me rename this go in the hood and put B okay here I will let in, in this way because uh, 3ds Max will show me that I cannot use the same material with the same name so how I apply this it's very easy I need to, to, to uh, transform this to editable poly convert this to editable poly make selection here and you cannot drop this look it don't works how I can make the selection click here guys select object and you can make the selection now you can uh, make this very good so I will select some area if you hold the control you can select more and I will apply this material okay oh here it is I find it click here and apply it again okay because sometimes you are you have this this is not good so you have select this and go apply this it makes me different IDs okay here for example I think it's from the from here look it's perfect uh, another example I think I will select uh, here in the side let's drop this material look the same name when I click apply a material with the same name already exists in scene do you want to rename this material because this is C and okay look oh it's nice it's here okay here we have a little connection I like uh, let me see here again oh I like when I uh, when we have this type of situation because if I press F4 I can give a cut here look how simple it is because the the title end is here is in this position and now I, I just have to apply the the, the, the original and F4 it's perfect guys I really like this exercise we can uh, select in we can make another one here with this oh it's a, it's here okay uh, if you want if you would like you you could uh, you could rotate this 90 degrees if you make a copy of this material and rename it like D for example and uh, you could rotate each texture in W 90 degrees and you would have this in the in the vertical line okay but uh, the title we will change so sometimes it's better to go in the tree in the Photoshop and make this type of adjustments there okay let me make uh, okay let me put here okay this in this way I don't think because it's a grass I don't think this will give us too much trouble depending on the situation you you, you need to to make a different type of adjustments or even you may want to detach this area and move this uh, to other areas and things like that you don't need to apply all this text in just one uh, on big object but let's see how this is working let me close this and I will move this plane a little just to show you these results okay I think I will let this more or less here all right and this box let me put this box more or less here too okay let's make the hander guys and see how this is and of course here when we are working with a three 248 2048 uh, pixels textures this gi this gives uh, a little memory consuming uh, I would tell you that you need uh, at least four and uh, four uh, gigas of a run and uh, of memory I suggest when you are making a uh, great sense with high resolution like uh, uh, 5000 pixels with uh, something like uh, 5 10 uh, high quality materials textures you need at least 80 gigs of run and good computers to work with that look I think this is good this is not bad 
Well, I, I think I can raise a little bit this grass. Let me do this. Let me take... Let me put this a little more here. And let's change this displacement size 0, 080. Let's put 2. Because in the grass we can manipulate a little this displacement size. And let's see now. And if you see, uh, here's the time of the render. With a high displacement, I will, I will have a, a, a slow render. Okay? So I will go back in few seconds for you and show you the result. Okay, here's the handle. It's not bad. Uh, if you're working in, in a visualization, in your illustration, and you need something like this, I think uh, it works pretty good. So you have the big grass in, with displacement here. If you look here, we have a very fast uh, handle. In a uh, most common machines, we'll do this in in two min two three minutes. All right, but uh, as you can see, uh, we have a, a good visual here. If you want, we just you can click here, copy image, go in the Photoshop, new. Let me paste this. You can play with this and uh, auto tone. No, not not don't work. Auto contrast later, new adjustment later. Color lookup. Uh, let me choose. Uh, we have a lot of lessons about. Uh, uh, let me put here warm. Okay, it's good. We have a lot of textures of uh, co image corrections. So this is just a fast example of uh, what you could do here and uh, in the scene, right? We can play a little bit here. Oh, I'll put uh, a black, a black area here. Look, guys. I will just give you a very fast example of uh, how you could change this. Let me put soft line and uh, more okay, something like this. All right, guys. Hope you like it. Uh, this lesson of multiple textures. We will have uh, another future future lessons about uh, multiple materials. So let's suppose you want a puddle here with a reflection and in the same material. All right. So we'll do we'll see some uh, other examples very soon. Thanks guys and bye-bye.